This is Story Recapped. Today I'm gonna explain an action, adventure, and fantasy film called Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In an Egyptian tomb, Lara Croft descends and wanders around with her hands at her gun holsters. When nothing seems to pose a threat, she heads towards an artifact. Suddenly, the pillar behind her shakes. A robot breaks through and attacks Lara. She somersaults out of its way and fires at the robot. She evades its attacks and reloads her guns, but the robot pierces through the tomb behind her. She shoots a rope, releasing it so it can hoist her up and drop cloth over the robot. She showers the pillar next to the robot with bullets, then jumps on it as it topples, crushing the machine. Laura puts her gun back in the holsters, but the robot throws the pillar up, knocking her down. She faces the robot, which releases extra bladed limbs. Laura fires at it as they speed towards each other. She slides under the robot, still shooting bullets, but it pins her down. She pushes its blades away from her head and redirects it to saw off its own legs. She then smashes the head with the butt of her gun, then pulls off its wires to disable it. Triumphant, she heads towards the artifact. However, the robot emerges behind her again. Lara orders it to stop, and it does. Its computer opens up for her, allowing her to replace its programming from kill to party. The robot plays songs as she drags it out of the training room. Her technical assistant, Bryce, laments at the damage she caused to the robot, but Lara scolds him for not programming it to stop before actually killing her. Bryce excuses that she wanted the training to be more challenging, and she smugly defends that it's why she destroyed it. When Lara gets out of the shower, her butler, Hillary, offers her a dress and healed shoes, which she ignores. Lara removes her towel in front of him, so Hillary notes that a lady should be modest, but she pokes fun at it. Meanwhile, in Venice, the Illuminati discuss how the planets are aligned, yet they haven't found a key. Manfred Powell reminds the group that their only clues are ancient cosmological models, though he assures them that they will have their answer in time. The Illuminati leader notes that they have only one week to retrieve the two halves of the triangle. Otherwise, the next opportunity will be in 5,000 years. As they head out, Powell admits to his assistant, Pims, that they're not ready. The following day, Hillary suggests new adventures for Lara, but she mournfully reminds him that the day is the anniversary of when her father, Richard, went missing. At the memorial stone for Richard, Lara wishes to have her father back. While seeing the planets aligned from her observatory, Lara notes that her father would have liked to have seen the event. That evening, Lara dreams of when her father showed her his pocket watch with her deceased mother's photo. She remembers Richard teaching her about the planet's alignment and telling her to find something. She then sees a wooden chest before waking up, holding a knife. She searches the mansion for the chest. She hears a ticking sound from under the stairs, so she breaks the wall to find the chest underneath. She opens it and discovers an old clock inside. Lara shows Bryce the clock to investigate it. Bryce doesn't think much about it, but Lara insists it started ticking once the planets aligned. Bryce puts a camera inside to check the clockwork, and Lara notices something from the monitor. They find an odd symbol inside, so Bryce meticulously opens the clock. Impatient, Lara smashes the clock with a hammer, revealing another clock inside. Lara identifies it as the all-seeing eye. In the morning, Lara attends an auction to meet with her father's old friend, Wilson. Before going to his office, however, Alex West greets Lara. Alex comments how Lara pretends to be a photojournalist, and she shoots back that he's pretending to be an archaeologist. Alex tries to flirt with her, but Lara accuses him of stealing her prayer wheels, which he defends wasn't hers to begin with. In Wilson's office, Lara shows him the other clock. She notes that only one of the dials is working, and it seems to be counting down to something. The eye is also getting brighter, and the back makes it look like a key. Lara adds that her father told her that the Triangle of Light, which has the all-seeing eye, can allow its owner to control time. Wilson, however, claims not to know anything about it. That evening, Wilson calls Lara to tell her that Powell may be able to help her with a clock. After the call, Wilson drinks nervously and stares at his photo with Richard, apologizing to his old friend. The next day, Laura meets with Powell, who shares that he once met her father in Venice. She then shows him photos of the clock, and Powell is immediately interested. Laura wonders how a lawyer like Powell could help her with a clock, so he clarifies that he has an obsession with antiquities. Later, Laura shares with Bryce that she thinks Powell is a liar. At night, Lara practices aerial acrobatics while an armed team gathers outside the mansion. 
They lock Bryce in his trailer before infiltrating the mansion. Noticing the security alarm, Laura lands on the chandelier just as men break through the sunroof. The men quickly fire at her, but Laura evades and knocks out the men on the mezzanine. She straps one of the men onto her bungee and throws him at the one hanging from the roof. Hillary and Bryce finally notice the security alarm, but bullets are shot into Bryce's trailer, so he heads for his computer instead. He tries to activate the broken robot, but fails. More men descend from the roof, so Laura uses her bungee to cut off their ropes. While in the bungee, Laura spins around the mansion while dodging bullets, then slams on the last mercenary. Another team breaks through the control room to steal the clock. When they blow up the walls, metal walls descend to block them. Meanwhile, Laura arrives at the garage to retrieve her weapons. But mercenaries enter, so she hides. Bryce connects to Laura through an earpiece. He watches the security feed as Laura fashions a weapon using power tools. With Bryce locating the enemies, Laura deals with the intruders. Simultaneously, Hillary engages those in the control room in a gunfight. Laura uses her car keys to activate the car's alarms, distracting a mercenary to knock him out. She then steals a gun from another, then rides her motorcycle as she shoots the man down. She heads back to the mansion just as the clock gets stolen. When she gets there, she only finds Hillary in the scene. The next morning, the clock is delivered to Powell. Meanwhile, Laura receives a prearranged letter from her father containing a riddle that leads her to a book from the library. In the book is another letter where Richard apologizes for leaving her with a burden to protect the clock. He tells her that the clock is a key to the Triangle of Light, which was forged from a meteor that fell during a planetary alignment. It was worshipped for its ability to control time, but it also destroyed the City of Light where it was held. Because of this, the triangle was split, with the parts separated at opposite ends of the world. He tells her to find the rare jasmine flower in Cambodia, as it would lead her to the tomb of the Dancing Light, where the first half is. He warns her that the dangerous Illuminati will also search for the triangle to fulfill a prophecy. Lara soon arrives in Cambodia, where she finds that Powell has hired workers to open the tomb of the Dancing Light. Amongst them is Alex. Lara drives a jeep to the area, but notices butterflies going in from the side of the tomb. While Lara investigates, she hears a child watching her, but the girl evades her sight. Soon, the workers finally force the tomb open, so Powell and his team enter. Lara meets the girl, who points her to an entrance with the jasmine flowers. The girl disappears just before Lara falls into a trap door. She hangs on the vines and finds herself inside the tomb's hall. Powell's team closes in, so Lara hides. Powell approaches the Shiva statue at the end and prepares to use the clock as a key at the precise moment the planets align again. Lara and Alex search for clues separately on how to activate the eye. Alex orders the mercenaries to take the swords from Shiva to insert into the center where the eye is. However, Lara discovers another eye directly in front of the statue. With less than a minute remaining, Lara calls out to Powell, but is rained with bullets in response until Powell stops his men. Lara insists that the eye they're standing on is a mirror image. When Powell questions why he should trust her, Lara remarks that she wants him to take the piece of the triangle so she can steal it later. With time running out, Powell tosses the clock to Lara, and she inserts it into the real eye. Instantly, the swords move, unlocking a log with a needle directly pointed to the urn in front of the statue. When it doesn't reach its mark, Lara hops onto the log, giving an extra push to pierce the urn. Liquid sprays out of the urn, and a bright light blinds them. The light focuses on the mirror eye, and it explodes. A black substance emerges, revealing the half of the triangle, which Lara snatches away. She hides while the men are distracted by the black substance that continues to spread, reaching up to the stone statues. Suddenly, the statues come alive. Lara steals a sword from a statue while the men rain bullets on the others. She defeats a few of the statues while some mercenaries get killed. Alex climbs a chain to retrieve the clock while a winged statue kills a few men and chases after Lara. After she evades it, Lara stops before the Shiva statue, smugly showing Powell that she has the piece. However, the Shiva statue also comes alive. The men quietly exit while Lara shoots at the giant statue. The statue retrieves its swords as Lara runs out of bullets. Lara kicks the swinging log, directing it to hit the statue. Lara escapes, hopping over the winged statue, which chases her. It grabs her just as she leaps outside, but it collapses as soon as it exits the tomb. Powell's team see she's alive, so they fire at her while she runs. Lara reaches a waterfall when Alex finds her, 
Holding her at gunpoint, with a smile, Lara leaps into the waterfall. Lara soon reaches a Buddhist monastery where she calls Powell to demand the clock. Powell suggests working together, so he invites her to meet in Venice. Lara then calls Bryce about her progress and tells him to meet her in Venice. Later, a monk reminds her that the triangle is dangerous to the world, but it'll be safer at her hands. He then offers her tea, which quickly heals her wound from the battle. The next day, Powell and Lara meet in Venice at the Illuminati base, where she deduces that he works for the group. Powell offers her to work together and share the triangle, but Lara teasingly asks who sits as the leader. Out of the leader's chairs, Lara sits at the center while Powell sits at her right hand. He then notes that it's where her father was seated, revealing that Richard was his mentor. Lara refuses to believe that her father was part of the Illuminati, but Powell insists that Richard kept secrets from her. He then offers to undo her father's death using the triangle, but she thinks he would just kill her once he gets the triangle. Powell teases that it would be easier to kill her now, revealing a knife in his hand. Lara confidently turns her back away from him and walks away, while Powell throws the knife on the altar instead. Later, Alex's shower is interrupted when he hears an intruder in his room. He immediately grabs his gun and opens the door only to find the housekeeper there, who throws the clean linens at him in her shock. When he returns inside, he finds the word traitor written in his shower, while Lara sits at his table behind him. She simply warns him not to betray her before leaving. The following day, the Illuminati leader and Powell's team are preparing for the second location. Lara arrives and puts the triangle piece on the chest which Pims locks away. Bryce joins her as they fly to Siberia. They land at a nearby village to rent sled dogs to use for the rest of the way. During this, a village girl warns Lara not to risk everything to see her father again. Suddenly, the dogs start barking, and the girl disappears, leaving a jasmine flower behind. Soon, the team reaches an arctic cave, where Lara rings a bell. The vibration breaks an ice wall, revealing a secret passage. Inside, they find a giant orrery that emits light. Two dogs run toward the light, and when they enter it, they're instantly broken down to their meat and bones until they come out on the other side seemingly well. Lara explains that the lights are time storms where time is distorted. The leader hurries his men to find the eye while Pims and Bryce wait outside, watching the solar eclipse. Once the eclipse begins, the orrery moves. Thinking that the eye is inside the sun, Alex starts to climb it. Lara climbs as well, dodging the arms, which knocks down and even kills some of the men. Noticing a pattern under the sun, Lara asks Alex for the clock. She struggles towards the center then lies down on the metal arms. She finds the eye in one of the patterns, inserts the clock, and then disappears. Lara suddenly reappears in a blast of light, holding the second piece. The leader presents the two pieces, noting how they will fulfill their ancestor's prophecy and control time. Tired of his speech, Powell signals his men to gun down the leader. He then takes the pieces and combines them himself. Lara smiles as nothing happens when he does. Figuring that Lara knows something, he throws a knife at Alex, who drops into the water. Lara jumps in and helps Alex when he gets stuck between metal arms. However, Alex gestures for her to save herself as he drowns in the water. Powell offers to undo both Alex's and Richard's death if she shows him how to make the triangle work. Lara gets a laser from one of Powell's men then shines it on a time storm. She throws the clock into it, causing it to break and freeze in time. She takes a small piece from the parts, which is the last piece of the triangle. As soon as the triangle is complete, Lara and Powell are transported into the City of Light, where they race up the pyramid to reach the Triangle of Light. Lara takes it, and Powell falls off the pyramid. Lara then crosses time and meets with her father. She confronts him about being an Illuminati member, but he defends that he only told her what would inspire her and keep her safe. She stresses that she misses him, but Richard tells her that she shouldn't resurrect him. He urges her to destroy the triangle instead, promising her that he'll always be with her. Upon their touch, Lara travels back in time before Powell kills Alex. She forces the knife to turn to Powell instead, causing her to cut her own palm. She then shoots the triangle, destroying it and resuming time. The knife hits Powell, and his men decide to abandon him. Seeing her walk away, Powell reveals that he killed Richard after discovering that he betrayed the Illuminati. To prove it, he shows her Richard's pocket watch. Alex tries to stop her from confronting him since the cave will soon collapse, but she simply urges him to escape with Bryce and Pym. Trusting that she'll make it, Alex complies. As soon as Powell is back on his feet, he aims a gun at her while Lara aims two at him. 
They decide to fight with no guns, so they engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Lara lands a few hits on him, but Powell knocks her down. Powell picks up his knife, but Lara gets back up and beats him. When he's down, she retrieves Richard's pocket watch, just in time as the cave starts to collapse. Lara runs to the exit and uses the sled dog's help to escape. Days later, Hillary is stunned to see Lara wearing a summer dress. After visiting Richard's memorial stone, she finds Bryce and Hillary waiting for her. Bryce's robot has been repaired and is ready for a rematch, so Hillary offers her guns on a silver platter. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.